Today we're going to be making the quintessential woodworking project, the birdhouse. Before we get started, let's get our supplies together. First and foremost is plywood. I happen to have this piece of scrap laying around. It's a half inch piece of pine, and uh, I think it's going to work perfectly for this project. We're also going to need a hole saw, a Forstner bit, a dowel, uh, and a table saw. We also need some sort of mechanical attachment device. Now, I'm going to be using a brad nailer uh, just because it's fast and it's easy, it's super simple, and it's uh, less intrusive. It's kind of hard to see brads when they're actually uh, in the piece uh, versus nails, screws, or staples, but any of those will really work. Now that we've got all of that, let's start designing and making those cuts. Now birdhouses come in all sorts of shapes and sizes and yours may not look like this and that's totally okay. There's nothing wrong. It's perfectly fine. Everybody has their own taste, their own design, and their own vision. But there are some things that you still need to consider with every project of this nature. And first and foremost, the greatest mistake is size. When you're making these first couple of cuts, you need to make sure that you are compensating for the size of the wood, the thickness. In this case, this is a half inch piece of plywood, so we need to subtract a half inch from either side for any inside piece of plywood. So in total, we're gonna to be subtracting an inch. Another thing to consider is the roof. The roof can be kind of tricky because it's beveled, especially if you're doing a straight 45 degree roof. Some of those cuts can be kind of tricky on a table saw, especially once you've already got small pieces trying to make those beveled cuts. Make sure that you're using sticks with your table saw and not putting your fingers in harm's way. Next, we're gonna worry about that front piece. So we've got the two sides, we've got the back, and we've got the front. Now the front is gonna have our little entrance hole and it's gonna have the classic bird perch. How we're gonna do this is we're gonna mark uh, a center space for our hole and we're just gonna drill uh, with our hole saw right into the front of the birdhouse. Next, we're gonna mark a little space just below that, again, on that center line, and use a Forstner bit to countersink a hole for our dowel. We'll cover one end of the dowel a little bit with uh, wood glue, and then just kind of push it right into place. Now we have a distinguishable front, back, two sides, a bottom, and two roof pieces. Let's put it all together. So I'm gonna be using the edge of my uh, work table along with a bench vise uh, to hold everything straight while I'm putting a healthy amount of glue on each of the seams and then nailing them together with the brad nailer. After I nail everything together, what I'm going to do is wipe all of the excess glue that's seeping out uh, from the seam and this is gonna do two things for me. The first thing is it's gonna prevent dripping so the glue isn't gonna get everywhere while I'm doing all of the other seams and parts. The second thing it's going to do is gonna fill in all of the cracks. So as I'm smoothing out that edge, the glue is actually gonna fill in cracks and create a smoother finish in the end. With all of the parts together, now we just wait for it to dry. And 12 hours later, sure enough, we have a completed and sturdy birdhouse. At this point, we can add a hanger, we can put mounts on the back of it, we can paint it, we can laser engrave it, burn it, stain it, whatever we wanted to do. But me personally, I just kinda of like the natural finish. And there you have it, voila, our birdhouse. Don't forget to subscribe for more making, and as always, if I can do it, you can do it too.